this is Stacy Phillips. Happy 4th of July. Today's Thursday, July 4th, 2013. And I wanted to talk a little bit today about this awesome book that I just purchased this morning. And I'm finished with the prologue. I'm in this to chapter one, to section one, actually. And the book is called The Power of Habit, Why We Do What We Do in Life and Business by Charles Duhigg, D-U-H-I-G-G. -G. Um, it's on the New York Times bestseller list, and it really is a great accompaniment, like a companion to Dr. A's Habits of Health um, that I have found. Um, just, just, just reading the prologue is just fascinating. Um, it shows, scientifically, anyway, the prologue, kind of the hook that hooked me into it, is something that I've been doing for you know two or three years now. Um, and something that Dr. A's been um, really uh, advocating uh, for more than 10 years now, um, that real behavior change, real change, positive life changes are possible, and they're possible to sustain long term uh, by developing new healthy habits um, that overwrite um, the, ha the old habits that, that, that you don't want anymore. Um, and it's not that the old habits will disappear completely, they'll still be kind of hibernating, um, but your new habits will be your go-tos. They'll be the ones that are hardwired now that, that your behavior follows are the new habits. And this book, you know, really does scientifically go ahead and you know, prove that, that that's the case. They looked at brain scans of, uh, well, in the prologue, they, they really focus in on a gal named Lisa who they looked at brain scans of, of her, um, you know, behavior centers in her brain and they see that the one that they believe um, uh, has is coordinated with um, self-control and inhibition um, is a lot more active now. Uh, and it, even though there's some activity still going on in the parts of the brain that deal with cravings uh, and hunger and cravings and those things, um, that they really showed that although she still had those responses, the, the new responses, um, overwrote the old responses. So in a sense, her actions were based on the new responses that she had um, developed into healthy habits. Uh, and what they found is that they, what they call, what they're calling a keystone habit. Um, a keystone habit is the kind of the one habit that you start with, that then you build upon, that leads to the ability to build upon that habit and that habit and it's just it's it's just exactly what um what is for me leading to long-term success at keeping off the 135 pounds that i've lost so um it says uh, by focusing on it says it wasn't the trip to cairo that had caused the shift you have to know the backstory in the prologue to to see that it wasn't like a trigger event that that caused a shift scientists were convinced or the divorce or the desert trek it was that lisa focused on changing just one habit and for Lisa it had started with smoking uh, at first everyone in the study had gone through a similar process by focusing on one pattern what is known as a keystone habit Lisa had taught herself how to reprogram the other routines in her life now Lisa uh, was a gal who was um, in a lot of debt she was obese she was a smoker and she changed all of these things about herself by starting with one, by starting with one habit, the smoking, that she did stop doing. Instead, she went jogging. Um, and so by changing that one habit, by just by going jogging instead of smoking, that really allowed just this, you know, building upon building, layers upon layers of a new direction for her life. She ended up losing 60 pounds, running a half marathon, running a full marathon, getting out of debt, earning her master's degree, buying a house. Um, I mean, she ended up doing all these things when before she had had all the, uh, the destructive habits that had caused her to be um, you know, in debt to where collection agencies were calling her. She couldn't manage her marriage. She got a divorce. She was obese. She smoked. Um, you know, all these things. And you say, well, what changed? Well, one thing. She chose one thing to change, that keystone habit, and everything else built upon that, built upon that. So in your life, in my life, you know, what is that one thing that you're going to change today, that, that, that new healthy habit that you're going to adopt into your routine today? What is that healthy habit? Write it down. 
and start practicing it every day. Practice that one healthy habit every day uh, and, see, and see what happens. See, see what wonderful changes can come your way. All right, um, that's all I have for today, and we'll uh, talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.